All right, so you want to start geocaching. So this is how um, I recommend you get started. First things first is actually setting up a geocaching.com username and password. So you're going to go to geocaching.com. You're going to want to sign up. And so I'm going to click login because I already have an account here. But when you go into create an account, it's it's free. So you'll sign up. You'll enter your email, username and password. You agree to the terms and hit continue. They'll want to confirm your email. But once that's set up, then you'll simply log in. Geocaching.com is really the gateway to getting all of um, the geocaching features that you're going to want to do. Uh, once it's set up, um, geocaching.com will be able to uh, load any uh, geocaches into an app. I have a particular app that I recommend. And so if you go into an Android device, you're going to use CGO is the one that I recommend. Now CGO does not, it, it is not offered on iPhone devices or Apple devices. Um, in fact, they have uh, stated that they don't want their, their app to even be mentioned with iPhone. Uh, I'm not going to speculate why, but uh, I prefer CGO. Um, other apps that are available um, are certainly out there. And so what, once you have your Android device in hand, you want to go ahead and go to your Play Store. You're going to type in CGO in C space G E O CGO into the, the search. Um, you're going to grab that app and install it. Once it's installed, you're going to want to open that up. The first thing that you need to do for CGO to really uh, be functional is go to the settings, go to services, go to geocaching.com. You're going to activate that, so I'm going to show that. You'll go ahead and accept the GroundSpeak terms of use. And then you want to authorize that. That's where you'll enter your username and password. You'll check your authentication. That'll log you in and authorize to interact with geocaching.com. So that, now you can go back and actually utilize all of the features of CGO. Um, you can check your map. Uh, your live map shows you exactly where you're at. Um, you can look for nearby caches. This is where the game begins. We'll just click on one of these to, to kind of look. We'll go to the closest one, Patty's cache. Um, we'll see that uh, it's a traditional cache. Um, it's 1.5 out of 5 stars on difficulty, 1.5 of 5 stars on terrain. So this is something that probably everybody in the family can do. You've got your coordinates there. Um, the, all the details are there. Down at the bottom, you can go ahead and, and hit description. Uh, it gives a little bit of description, uh, maybe a little bit of a hint in, in there. Oftentimes, you'll find some hints in the, uh, the description. Uh, the logbook, uh, actually from geocaching.com, is, is available. So you can look at other people's um, things as they found it uh, and what they commented. Uh, there's even some images of, of people that have found that particular cache. Sometimes the logbook and the images might be a little bit of a spoiler and might give away too much uh, information and you might, might want to uh, make it a little bit more difficult by not viewing those. But that's, uh, that's one of the caches and you've got all these other caches that are in the area. And so other than having the nearby, you can uh, use stored caches if you're going to do things offline, search for things, go to places. And so that's pretty much everything that CGO does, and it makes the game quite fun. It's the most uh, um, useful. I've used several different apps and tried several out, and I found CGO to be the best that interacts very nicely with geocaching.com. So once you have your geocaching.com set up, you get your app uh, authorized and connected, and you're ready to play the game. In reviewing the video, I realized I left out one thing. So when you go to your nearby caches, um, 
OB Wise is the one that the boys uh, set up. Um, when you click on the, the cache, I discuss the details and the description and all of those things. Um, to really kind of navigate, if you hit up in the corner, there's a, there's a North Star uh, little target thing. If you click on that North Star, it will give you a compass and it will give you your um, longitudinal, latitude and longitudinal um, coordinates. Down at the bottom, you'll see that those don't match up. And as you move, those coordinates will, will, uh, will change and you're trying to match those up. And so that's uh, one little feature I had uh, inadvertently left out and it's an important one. So that will get you set um, for the game.